Welcome sa sip9.com. In this video ay magsisimula tayo ng panibagong series, no? Ang series na ito is about factoring. And ito yung pinakaunang video natin. At dito sa video na ito ay pag-aaralan natin kung ano ba yung mga basic concepts sa factoring. Uh, ang lesson na ito is about uh, factoring polynomials. But uh, to, to introduce to you the concept of factoring, magsimula muna tayo sa numbers, no? So, ang numbers ay pwede natin siyang express as product of two or more numbers, no? For example, yung number na 42. Ang 42 ay pwede natin siyang express ng product of two numbers or more, no? For example, uh, ang pinakamadali siguro is 1 times 42, no? Ang susunod ay uh, maybe 6 times 7 or maybe 2 times 21. And, uh, ano pa, um, 2 times 3 times 7, pwede din na 3 times 14. So, yung mga nakikita nyong numbers dyan, yung 1, yung 2, yung 3, yung 4, oh, may 4 ba? Wala. So, 6, 7, what else? 14, 21, and 42. Ang tawag natin dyan ay factors of, these are uh, factors of 42. Now notice that each of these factors, no? each of the factors are also divisors. No? Are divisors of 42. So pag sinabi mong divisor at factor, you are actually uh, referring to the same thing, no? Pag uh, sinabi mong factors of 42 tsaka divisor of 42, parehong numbers yung yung uh, tinutukoy, no? Uh, kung mapapansin niyo may part tayo dito, no? Itong part na to. Anong napapansin nyo dyan? Puro siya prime numbers, di ba? Yung, yung 2, yung 3, tsaka 7. Ang lahat yan sila ay prime numbers. So, pag ang number ay inexpress as product of prime numbers and prime numbers only, no? Ang tawag natin dyan ay prime factorization. So, 2 times 3 times 7 is the prime factorization of 42. So, the order doesn't matter. So, pwede 7 times 2 times 3 or 3 times 7 times 2, etc. So, as long as prime number siya, ang tawag natin sa kanya ay prime factorization. Um, ito, nagsimula tayo sa numbers, but we can also um, express the monomials, for example. Uh, in general, uh, polynomials as product of two or more um, expressions. No? For example, yung 20a cubed x squared y. Maraming, ano, maraming ways para ito express na, for example, uh, pwede ako magsabi ng 4 times no? 4 a cubed times 5, ang natira x squared y, no? Or kaya pwede ko na sabi na 2 a squared x times 10, ang natira, may ipa tayo natira ng isa dito. Meron pa tayong isang x, and then meron pa tayong y. That's another one. Or kaya pwede ko rin sabihin na uh, 2 times 2 times 5 uh, times, uh, what else? a cubed times x squared times y. Uh, or kaya... Kung gusto nyo pahabain, we have 2 times 2 times 5 times ilang a yan? Tatlo. a times a times a times x times x times y. So, yan din yung mga uh, factorization ng uh, 20x or 20a cubed x squared y. Pero, asan naman yung prime factorization niya dito sa mga to? So, para makuha mo yung prime factorization, dapat naka-prime uh, factor yung ano yung yung uh, ating mga numbers no and also dapat 
nakasimplify na into one variable lahat ng mga dapat nag, nagsasama na siya uh, represented by exponent lahat ng mga variables na magkakapareho. So, in effect, ito yung ating prime factorization or ang tawag natin ay complete no? complete factorization. And of course, yung, yung 2 natin dito, pwede natin siyang gawing 2 squared para maka-exponent lahat. No? So, we can replace this with 2 squared. So, magiging 2 squared times 5 times a cubed times x squared times y. So, ang tawag natin dito ay prime factorization of of uh, 28 cubed x squared y or the complete complete factorization. No? So I think that's the basic concepts of uh, factoring. No? Uh, yung word na factor means uh, yun yung divisor mismo ng number and also lahat ng prime numbers ay tinatawag natin na prime factors. At pag uh, lahat ng, pag nag-multiply ka uh, resulting to that number at ang gamit mo lang ay prime numbers, ang tawag natin dyan ay prime factorization. Okay? So, I think that's the basic concepts. Titingnan natin sa mga susunod na videos kung paano ba tayo mag-factor ng mga uh, polynomials. No? So, uh, bago tayo magtapos, gusto ko kayong invite sa sip9.com. Yan yung ating uh, website. You can... Uh, uh, Visit the site, then general listahan ng mga videos natin. And of course, if you want to subscribe sa ating YouTube channel, you can just click the subscribe button below the video. So, every time na mag-post tayo ng video ay makatanggap kayo sa inyong email. No? So, maraming salamat and see you in the next tutorial.